still only few weeks left for NEET 2022. I hope every one of your preparations are going well and good. In this crucial time, number of revision you do will definitely boost your score in NEET. Friends, need not worry if you are an average student because daily revisions will definitely convert an average student into a NEET topper. And with discipline and dedication, definitely you will crack NEET this year. If you agree, then comment I will in the comment section. In this video, I am going to talk about strategic revision technique that I followed during my NEET preparation that really helped me to crack NEET exam and to join MMC. If you are new to my channel, hello, I am Ibrahim, third year MBBS student from Metros Medical College. Consider subscribing my channel for more unique and quality content regarding NEET exam. Okay, without wasting time, let's move on to strategy number one. You must be asking this question every day. Shall I revise what has been learned or go further completing extra topics? Most of the students will think that revision needs completion of syllabus. But you don't need to complete the entire syllabus for doing revision. That's why it is called as an ongoing process. So follow these steps. Number one, note down the list of chapters you have already completed. Number two, select one chapter and divide that chapter into small parts. In the same way, do for all chapters. Number three, revise that small part on daily basis. I prefer to do revision for at least one to two hours per day. And many people will feel that it is a complete waste of time and they will try to revise everything at last in one run. But believe me, this is the only strategy that will give you more confidence before and doing your exam. And daily revisions will save you tons of time. This strategy has been followed by many of the NEET JE toppers and successful students and they proved it. So the pro tip is don't wait till the completion of syllabus and start your revision as early as possible. Inorganic is similar to biology. For both, you can follow the same revision strategies. There are around 8 chapters in inorganic chemistry and these chapters are just like biology. There will be a lot of stuff to memorize. To master inorganic and biology, follow this strategy, which is RUMR, which is nothing but read, understand, memorize, repeat. Most of the students will follow only the first two steps of this strategy. They just read the NCRT lines and once they understood the concept, they move on to next chapter without memorizing or repeating. But toppers will never do that. They read, understand, memorize and repeat after regular interval of time. Second strategy is linking or making a web. Now I will give you an example for better understanding. Have you seen this picture? Yes. This is from chapter D and F block elements. Here you can see that it is mentioned Europium has delta E value of minus 2 volt. But this information seems pretty random right? So how do you keep it in your mind? Now think what else has delta E value almost similar to this? The answer is cobalt but plus 2 volt and it also mentioned in this same chapter. So now you have two elements one of which Europium has minus 2 volt and another one cobalt has plus 2 volt. Does this cobalt seem familiar? Have you ever heard of anything called cobalt chloride test? Yes, you guessed it right. It is used to detect the transpiration rate. But wait a minute, isn't that in biology? Yes, it is in the chapter transport in plants. So we started with delta E value of europium in DN of block elements and ended up in biology. Yes, and guess what? From now on, whenever you see this segment while revising biology in CRT, you will remember about the delta E value of europium and also you know the value of cobalt. This is called making a web. As ecologist says, the more complex the food web is the more sustainable the ecosystem. The same goes with this information web. This was just a demo, try to incorporate this in your studies and I am sure you will see a massive improvement. Next, we can move on to organic chemistry. Organic chemistry comprises of many reactions and reagents which can be practiced by writing over and over again. Here I will teach you a trick. By this trick you can remember it for a very long time. First choose one chapter you want to revise. Second write down only the headings and subheadings in a sheet of paper. Now close the book and take a rough note and write all the reactions you remember from that topic. Try to recollect as much as possible. It will be difficult but try to do it. After that open the book and see what you missed and written wrong. 
now again close the book and try to recollect and this time you can recollect much easier again open the book and check for mistakes if you made any mistakes then mark them on your book and next time when you revise it again give more attention to that mistake by following this strategy you can see massive improvements in your memory now moving on to physical chemistry and physics physical chemistry is same like physics for both you can follow this strategy one physics chapter takes more time to complete than a biology chapter but one physics chapter needs very few revision when compared to biology one solve questions and more questions do as many questions as possible because in these topics there is much to practice than to learn for physics try linking chapters like electrostatics with gravitation and simple harmonic motion with work energy power because these chapters will have similar concept by piling them up in one row making it easier and faster to revise learning formulas will lead you nowhere in physics instead see the formula and apply it use your brain and imagine the question understand why every step happens pay more attention on frequently asked questions no point in being strong in electromagnetic waves and weak in mechanics study previous year papers to get an idea of the type of questions expected and most importantly be strong in basics and apart from studies focus on productivity and sleep well because these days can be stressful but sleep is something that shouldn't be compromised and lack of sleep is reflected on your paper in form of silly mistakes and we have launched 20 days physics crash course here we taught important topics from basics and this will be a life saver for many students who is struggling with physics if you are interested you can purchase this course from our app neat master which is available in play store and i also provided app link in description here after launching you can see the store button click that and here you can find the crash course click that and at the bottom you can see payment option select that and pay through any move after that you can access all these videos i hope this video is useful if you like to do me a favor please share this video to many students and if you didn't subscribe to my channel consider subscribing and hit the notification icon to get notified whenever i upload new video so friends see you in next video